Hello again. Today we're going to keep talking about Deneb and give another example of how you can use the Deneb visual to improve performance of your Power BI reports. Um, behind every Power BI visual that contains data, there's a DAX query. Uh, and if, especially if you're using direct query sources, sometimes those visuals can be slow to render. In a previous video, I showed you how you can use the Deneb visual to replace multiple visuals uh, and speed up your overall uh, page performance. But today I'm going to show you how you can also use it to speed up uh, an individual visual by replacing one of the native visuals that may complain, contain a more complex uh, DAX query with the Deneb visual and actually doing the calculation inside the visual. Um, in, in other previous videos, I've shown you things you can do with the transform functionality uh, of Deneb. Uh, we talked about how you can add calculated columns using the calculate transform, how you can pivot or unpivot the data with the flatten and fold uh, transforms. And today we're going to talk about um, using the window transform and some of its uh, subparameters called frame, lag, and lead. Uh, and there's, there's quite a few others as well. Um, and uh, show you how you can, can speed up your, your visual. Um, the good news is the, the functionality that I'm talking about today, you can do it to Neb, but, but it is also coming uh, to the Power BI native visuals. And um, to hear more about that, you can, you can go listen to, to Jay on uh, Reed Haven's uh, YouTube channel, uh, where he describes the, the awesome functionality that's coming with, with visual calcs. And again, if, if you're learning from these videos, please go ahead and, and hit the subscribe button. Um, before I jump into the demo, uh, I'll just hop over to the Vega Lite documentation. The Deneb visual is based on Vega Lite. And so today I'm going to talk about the, the window uh, functionality. And window is just one of the many transformations that you can leverage in, in Vega Lite and the Deneb visual. And you know, the documentation definitely encourage you to come and look through all this documentation to see what's possible. But today we're going to use um, this uh, kind of syntax in our Vega Lite specification, uh, where we use the the window uh, within the transform, and uh, I'll, I'll show you what we can do with it. All right. So the examples I'm going to do are I have several scenarios here, and for each I have a native visual and then the Deneb version of it um, that may or may not be faster. And I'll warn you in advance, none of these are pretty. These are all about functionality. And certainly, you can take the time to make either the native visuals or the Deneb visuals much prettier than what you'll see today. So this is all about functionality. Um, before I jump into the visuals, let me just mention briefly the, the model that I'm using today. So I have on my local host just a SQL Server database that I've put together. Uh, so this is all, this is direct query. You see the blue headers here. Um, and the main fact table has about 33 million rows, I think, and just a simple star schema model. Um, I've also um, set up and, and, a, and said yes on referential integrity. I really like in the new properties panel that you can do in the, in the diagram view these days. Um, and then also on the side, I also have DAX Studio open and connected to uh, this Power BI uh, analysis services model and really just there so that I can clear, clear cache. So if I happen to refresh a visual and see that the, it didn't reissue the DAX query, I can, I can come over here and hit that clear cache uh, just to, to make sure that happens. All right, so let's get into the demo. Um, so if I look at this first one here, this native running total, again, these aren't pretty, uh, but this visual, all I have is by years, and so there's like five and a half years worth of data uh, in this model. And I just have a simple measure of, of a base measure of flights, which is just counting the rows uh, of that, uh, of the uh, flights table. And then I have this simple um, calculate function to just do a running total of the flights, you know, by year. This probably is an analysis you would do, but I was I wanted to do a running total to, to do this demo. And so if I start the performance analyzer and refresh the visuals, we can see how long it takes. 
and you can see it took 2.6 seconds and 2.5 seconds of that was the DAX query. Um, and, you know, I, I didn't show it, but if I didn't have this uh, running total one, let me just pop that off there. Um, it's, it's, it's much faster. Um, the DAX query is only 500 seconds. Note, since I'm recording this, it's also bogging down my machine a little bit. So everything's going to be a little faster than I saw when I looked at this before it. And that's definitely uh, slower than than what I saw before. Uh, but hopefully the relative difference will still show you the, the power of this functionality. So now if I go over and look at the Deneb version, right, we can see that the DAX query here was 138 uh, milliseconds, right? So significantly faster than this one above uh, to, to generate the same visual. Okay, um, and just to confirm, let me, although it issued the DAX query, so I don't think I need to do this. I'll just clear the cache and refresh the visual again. And you can see it's it's very fast. I, I am seeing quite a bit of variability in the in some of these times, but, uh, but hopefully uh, you'll still agree this is a powerful tool to have in your toolbox. So if I go look at how I did this visual, first thing you'll notice is I've got just the two things here. I've got my year column and I've got the flights, the simple measure, right? So just the real simple count rows uh, measure in there. So no, no calculate, you know, no generating extra date filters and that kind of stuff uh, to, to get this, to, to shift the filter context to get the running total. Um, so if I hop into the, into the visual, We'll see what I was talking about before. So this is just a real simple visual. You know, we've got the the year on the x-axis. We've got two marks here, two uh, lines, right? I didn't bother making them different colors. So, you know, that's all basic uh, Deneb there, nothing to see. Uh, but the interesting part here is, is in here. So uh, I did a, a sort transform just to make sure that the, the years were going in increasing order. And then I use this window function uh, and I chose my operation as the sum. So I want to uh, do a running total. I want to do it off the flights column. And then I'm going to name that column as flights RT. And then that flights RT column is used in the second line here as the Y axis. Um, and this data preview panel can be really helpful when you're, when you're troubleshooting um, if you look at the data set, and then if I come here and choose data zero, I can see, you know, that it's calculated that and I can confirm that this is indeed a, a running total there. Okay. So again, very little um, syntax. There's a great example on that. And there's other examples out there you can find where other people have done this. Um, and boom, you've got uh, a running total. Um, this part here, the frame. I actually could have deleted this because this is the default for frame, um, but I put it here just to show that you can use it, and I'll use it in the next example um, to really specify how far back it goes and how far forward it goes um, to include in the data in your calculation. All right, so let's hop on to the second one. So the second one um, is this one takes a little bit longer when we when we go to refresh it. Um, and this one, again, this is the native visual. Um, I've got the base flights measure, but now I'm showing every day over those five years. And I just wanted to do a five day or a seven day running average. Um, and if you look at this, you know, you might wonder, how, like, hey, when did COVID happen, right? So this is, you know, flights by day uh, across the U.S. basically. And so I wrote this DAX measure, apologize for not formatting it properly, um, where I just did an average X over the days. And then I limited the, the day, changed the day scope to be, the current day in context to go back six days, so seven days in total uh, to get that seven day running average. Um, and if we refresh this visual, um, we can see that the DAX query takes uh, 1.9 seconds about. All right, and so then if we hop over to the Deneb version, we can see that it's, it's very fast. It also issued a DAX query. Note too that I've only got this very simple count rows aggregation here uh, for my measure, I get the same visual. And in this case, if I go look at the, the JSON, the, the Vega light spec, um, similar to before, instead of sum, I chose average, uh, still looking at that flights column. I named it flight 7DA. 
and then for the frame I chose negative six to zero so that means you know go back six values from where I am and then I would say I want to include the current one in the seven day running average so this gives me a total of seven seven values that are included in there um, and again I can look at the, the data there and, and see those see those results um, all right so it's not always uh, faster and you have to go back and uh, look at you know the the measures that you're writing and if there is a way to create your visual with just very simple aggregation measures and then do some of the calculate if you're able to do the calculations inside the, the net visual it's worth trying here so we, let's we can look at some other um, examples here if I look at this one this is just looking at the the previous value so both at the year level and the week level um, and we can see we can see in this case um, I looked at these pages before so it didn't issue the DAX let me go over and clear the cache and then clear this and then refresh the visuals we can see how long the DAX queries take 295 and and one second uh, and then if I go over to the Deneb version of these right we see actually this time uh, is about the same and this one this one was shorter uh, but sometimes you see this where this other thing can be high for custom visuals uh, so I do see this sometimes not exactly sure why that is um, if I refresh again you know this time it's it's fast and those DAX queries are still going so um, haven't really figured out why the other is long sometimes all right um, I did some other things as well. Some of these didn't result in huge uh, changes, but you know, using um, similar techniques, um, you can do, you know, compare to previous value. Um, you know, if we do the Deneb version, you can see that it's faster. Did a percent of total, you know, three three twenty nine, two forty eight. If we compare the the DAX part, right? Uh, um, oh, and we know. Let me clear the cache again, because you may end up generating the same DAX queries uh, from from both visuals um, and may get cached. Uh, DAX query 104 on that one, and the Deneb. You know, so this this time it took a little long. So again, these are both pretty fast, so um, not a big deal there. I would I would go with the native visual on this one. Um, I did want to show on one of these. I think it was this previous value. Uh, so far, the other ones I showed you, where I showed you the code, um, it was using the, uh, the the window with the frame functionality, but they also have this lag and lead. So when I wanted to get the previous value. Um, again, still using window, but if I use the lag, which means, hey, look backwards, um, you can also apply lag with this param uh, value here, and this is I want to go back one. So if you wanted to always go back three or 10 or whatever, you could do that um, when you want to be more surgical with you know, doing a, a similar value. Um, and if I wanted to compare it to a forward value, I can use lead here instead of lag. Um, and again, if I look here at the data zero where I can see the so sort of that calculated column here, um, yeah, I can confirm that I am indeed, you know, go, going back and getting the, the previous value. Right. Um, all right. So I think that's all I was going to show. Um, hopefully that's useful to you. Again, if you have slow visuals with direct query sources, probably um, and you can uh, use this technique to do an individual calculation. Hopefully this will be helpful to you. All right. Thanks.